Okay, time to let everyone in the waiting room in. There is the official start. Welcome. Today is the official start of the next eight weeks. Hope your week is off to a healthy beginning. I'm glad you can make it. I have the recording on, so anyone who is or is not making it can get this session. Okay, great. So you can start by introducing yourselves briefly if you want to and your goals. Um, Britt was there on our Saturday chat, but uh, we haven't seen you two yet. Okay, so I'm David Lewis. And I'm happy to say that I'm a returning customer with great news who advanced a lot over the many sessions that I had with Organic that changed my perspective on life. So I'm coming here for a detox and a tune-up. I'm really happy to be back. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that. How much weight have you lost so far? When did I, since we met? Yeah. A 20. Okay, that's all you wanted to lose. How many pounds are you going to lose this time? Well, I was struggling to get another uh, five to eight off. It's, it's kind of in a stuck position. Okay, yeah. 10 pounds is kind of the average of most of the participants in our group that they want to get out of this eight weeks. Uh, nice. Amelia. Hi, my name is Amelia, and my goals and my intentions is to be like more in tune with my body, um, and just to learn like more like healthy habits, and to just enjoy the process. And if I can physically look better, that's great. But I just like want to, I guess, like feel better. That's like my goal. Awesome! Thank you for sharing that. Brett, how's your week started so far? Hi. Um, so far, so good. I had the intention on Saturday to be consistent with like working out and doing something active every day. And I've been able to stick with that, which is, I find like a nice strong start. Um, I also have been slowly but surely like actually looking at the menu which I know is something that I had resistance with with um in shifting like the things that I actually eat so I'm going to start incorporating the items from the menu as this week goes on and into the second week is what I'm hoping for like um I know that we mentioned like broth and callaloo and like pumpkin or squash soup so all of those are things that I'm going to definitely be bringing in to what I'm eating this week um as it goes along okay great yeah so we have two weeks for the first menu to get that practice and set up which is great so today i'm gonna do a little brief on the gut um understanding some of the gut health and also to check in on some portion goals i'm gonna share my screen now and um this course is based on a book um about leaky gut And I'm just going to go through like some potential uh, symptoms that you might have experienced, but you not, might not have known the cause and that it could be coming from the gut because the gut is so sensitive to a lot of the issues that we feel in our bodies that are uncomfortable. Hi, Anna. We just did a quick introduction. And if you want to say hi, because you just got in um, and just share your goals briefly with us. That would be great. If you want to put your camera on, great. If not, do you want to do an audio? I don't want to put you on the spot. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. That's fine. And no, I wouldn't be joining with camera in my pajamas already. So that's not happening. <laughs> and I find it easy to join on my laptop. I, I do like joining on my phone, but I think the goals are just to feel comfortable. 
and not have this constant bloating and you know and discomfort and your gut and stuff so i'm really interested to hear what you have to say okay nice and remember, I think I'm still waiting on just your measurements and David. I don't think, I feel like everyone has sent me theirs except you two. That's okay. We get that tomorrow. Okay, cool. All right. So the first two weeks is really about removing the junk food or cleaning up anything that's coming into the diet that is a trigger or junk food or a too much sugar. So that's what these next two weeks are mainly focused on. And also getting your movement habit in, in practice and in place. Um, when it comes to understanding the stomach and the gut lining, um, the gut lining in our intestines works as a barrier, which uh, is to help with our absorption. So we want to make sure we're having the right amount of food to absorb all of our vitamins and minerals. And the right ingredients also help us to absorb better. So if you have any issues with like iron absorption or any other mineral deficiencies, magnesium um, or immune system bloating, it could be an absorption issue. So removing a lot of these junk foods and focusing on whole foods gives the body a chance to get better at this digestive process. Hi, Kieran, Giselle. So we met on Saturday, which is great. So I'm just going to check in on you um, minorly today. And what this session is about is introducing what these next two weeks are going to be about. And also will the full eight weeks as a process, um, which starts with removing a lot of the junk foods for the first two weeks or even any habits like the sugars or any late night snacking or any foods that you feel are not working for your body these first two weeks are about removing them the next two weeks is all about replacing then we are re-inoculating re and then it's repair and rebalance and then it's relax so each menu over each two weeks is specifically designed for this process and I know that it takes time to get accustomed to a meal plan um, so give yourself time to practice get the ingredients and once you're making progress, that's really what's the most important. Um, eating out strategies, really and truly, if you want to look at menus in advance, that will help your success. And also um, planning with meals with friends, looking at, okay, well, what could be aligned on the menu? The main ingredients you might want to look to avoid to really feel the difference in the bloating and in the gut would be the white flowers, fried foods, um, dairy is sometimes a big one for people as well, and sometimes even corn. And the main goal is that we really want to improve our nutrient absorption so that we can have better absorption of zinc, iron, vitamin B12, and therefore we'll have more energy and also our clothes will fit better. And um, what a lot of uh, people don't know is that when we have something called a leaky gut, which most a lot of people do, it comes from a bacteria imbalance and sometimes toxin overload, chronic stress is also a big factor as well as diet. So there are a few factors that um, contribute to, to this digestive stress. So let's say, for example, you have a high stress job or career a good goal for you could be to practice more of like your journaling, whether you want to write in a document on your um, computer or you want to handwrite some notes at certain times of the day when you have a trigger. It could be a good idea to find that time to just release any emotions. A few of you have also said early on on Saturday that emotions would be something you want to practice working through more in this eight weeks. And we will practice identifying, you know, if you're feeling stressed or if you're feeling sad or bored or lonely or happy or excited um, to identify that and try to either journal about it, communicate about it, or even like anger or frustration. Because um, it's so easy to just grab a snack and say, okay, well, I'm bored. I'm just going to munch on these chips or I'm frustrated. I'm just going to like screw this diet or I messed up, you know, and it's so easy to have those mindsets. But the main mindset that we want to um, practice and be mindful of over the next eight weeks is going to be 
trying to find peace within our thoughts. So when stressful thoughts come up, it's to ask ourselves, okay, well, I'm feeling stressed now, but can I look for a better thought? Can I look for something to feel grateful for? Can I look at um, finding peace or even just doing some breath work, slow breathing exercises um, could be good meditations um putting on like a five minute meditation just to kind of calm back down could also be very helpful um because if we're accustomed reaching for like a sugar or dessert in these two weeks if we're triggered with stress or uh, an uncomfortable emotion that usually we might look to a snack for then we want to know what do we do in replacement of that and to replace that, it would be a, a good suggestion to look for something like um, a breathing exercise or writing or taking a walk. Of course, exercise is fantastic. And um, yeah, does anyone have any comments on anything I've said so far or questions? Okay. And uh, when it comes to stress, for example, I know that's a big one for most of us. Um, there are a lot of biochemical changes that occur when we're stressed, and these have significant impact on our digestion. So we might find that if we go to have a meal when we're in a stressful state, it can actually affect a lot of the experience of our eating process. So the main goal is while we're focusing on our hydration, this next two weeks it's important that we also try to be at a peaceful place in our body before we have something to eat um, or maybe just push back the meal a little bit until we're a little more calm if we can and there's some herbal teas like ginger tea which is also really soothing for the digestive system um, which could be really nice and relaxing during these eight weeks and a good mindset to have during these eight weeks is that you're gifting yourself and your body a recharge, a reboot that it deserves because it's constantly in go mode working for you. And even if you want to take time in your schedule to make sure that you're resting on a weekend or you are just doing your soups and finding calming experiences to have, you will get even more benefits in addition to the dietary choices that you will be making in this time. And when it comes to sugars, sugars do uh, cause a lot of inflammation in our joints, in our um, gut, and also it stores around our liver a lot more. So if we can be mindful of trying to eat properly throughout the day, it should help to reduce a lot of the sugar cravings and especially in hydrating. So there is a, a connection between our gut and our psychology and our mindset. And uh, what we notice is the more fiber that we're gonna be consuming, so the more plants, um, it will improve a lot of our stress uh, due to the serotonin receptors in our gut, which makes us feel happier and a lot better. You may also find yourself glowing because the amount of plants in these smoothies really give a nice glow to the skin. And it's very soothing and refreshing a lot of the recipes as well. So you should enjoy that. And it's quick. A lot of the recipes are very quick and easy to make, um, which is great. All righty. So that's mostly the introduction of what we're doing for that. Uh, a note to, to understand is if you have been experiencing any major depression, anxiety, migraines, and headaches, there really could be a good link between the brain and the gut. And uh, our gut does influence our brain connection. And it is a, a way that they're signaled back and forth. So it could be a sign that if you have had any of depression, anxiety, or migraines or headaches, that this course 
will help to improve a lot of these symptoms and that you'll feel better very quickly. I want to acknowledge that there will be challenges, especially with social life, when it comes to staying on track and following a plan. The cool part about committing to yourself for eight weeks is that even if you give yourself 90% of success on this eight weeks, you'll still have a lot of benefits. So you have a little wiggle room. I know many of you are abroad and have different events going on, either carnival or birthdays and um, different social aspects. So the main thing is going to be weekends is usually the hardest for most people. So if you find a routine, that would probably be the most beneficial. So if you have weekend plans, but you get all your groceries on a Friday afternoon, or you just make sure that you're organized by the weekend before you do anything social, you'll find that by the time Sunday night and Monday rolls around, you feel a lot more at ease and ready. And that feeling of readiness is what helps with the success and consistency. Many of you have worked with me before, um, so you know my work and you know that what to expect with this. And so let's say, for example, appetite changes occur where you um, either have a bigger appetite someday or a small appetite someday. When I sent that link with intuitive eating yesterday, it's all about trying to listen to your body and your hunger and fullness cues, because it's normal that appetites might change. And even if you're eating a little bit less because something like soups are very filling and you're drinking more water, it might feel like you're eating less because your stomach is filling with a lot of fluids. Um, but that also helps with the calorie balance and the energy balance that it makes it a lot easier to lose weight without you really focusing on it because you're so focused on hydrating and flushing the body and putting in the right fuel. Okay. All right, so that's it from this that I feel is relevant to share with everyone today so i'm going to stop sharing my screen because i feel like we went through this on saturday um, but the most things that we are um, removing are gluten um, grains it's this course does say to avoid brown rice because it's a little bit too much for the um the gi tract uh, if you do have digestive problems it can make the digestive process harder but if you are going to eat grains and you want to eat quinoa, that might be a better choice for you during this time. So they have like this really nice quinoa porridge that you'll find in the recipes as well. Uh, sugars for sure. If we can avoid that as much as possible, that would be fantastic. You can get a sweetener that you like in replacement. Um, so those are the main foods that we're avoiding. I, I'm not, I don't feel like any of you really would use refined mm. vegetable oils because you've worked with me before, but it's mostly olive oils. Hi, Anik. Hi. Um, recently, I was reading uh, something that they call rice hack. Have you heard of that before? No, what did you read? Well, there seems to be uh, a lot of social media following where you take grains of rice and you pour through a strainer or filter some very hot water mm -hmm. and um, the the liquid that comes on the other side of the strainer mm -hmm. seems to have had contact with the rice and this is now becoming something that you will mix into a cereal, a smoothie, a drink, hmm. uh, and apparently rice hack is something that gives an amazing balance in your gut and systems rather than having to eat the actual rice. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if on behalf of the team, if you could research what is the latest chat mm -hmm. going on in social media. Uh, on rice hack 
and see if it's a hoax or if they have found something that is actually ingrained in the grains interesting. that come out come out like a tea on the other side that's interesting uh, i mean um it's funny because amelia and i were talking about maybe it's rice water it could be rice water where the rice is soaked in water for a while and then you strain that and you can like put it in your hair for like hair growth and like those kind of things like a, it's like a beauty treatment mm -hmm. but i'm not sure if like you would drink it but maybe i mean it's kind of like it sounds to me like rice milk it's just like rice water but okay i can do some research and then you can share it in the group as well and we can look at it okay right so your gut will tell you what foods it's sensitive to so if you find that you're getting bloated and gassy and that you feel uncomfortable with any of the meals then your body might be saying it doesn't really like this food or this process and that is what the mindfulness is about that you want to start tuning into your digestive process one interesting part of uh, how to eat in order during this meal plan is going to be that eating fruits first thing in the morning on an empty stomach helps to cleanse the digestive tract so that as you eat throughout the rest of the day you'll find less bloating gas indigestion and if you for example you eat fruits or a smoothie after lunch or after a meal you might notice a few digestive disruptions there. So I would recommend keeping these smoothies in the morning time and fruits in the morning. And if you get hungry later on in the afternoon and you want to do a protein shake or broth, that could be a nice idea instead of like a full smoothie, for example. Does that make sense? Yeah, so alcohol... I know a few of you said you will want to drink a few drinks possibly over this next eight weeks. So be mindful that I'm obviously going to avoid that you don't. I Yeah, I'll, I'll recommend that you avoid and that you don't have any alcohol. But if you are going to and your main goal is weight loss, for example, then stick to like the vodkas and the um, limit like the beers and the heavier alcohols and just stick to like the clean spirits. Um, however, like I'll just let everyone know, alcohol does steal nutrients from the gut and overworks the liver. And so that's good to know. And things like beet juice are really good for boosting up our um, liver health, which is good. And also I was recommending celery juice. If you have a juicer and you're doing celery juice for like your joints and your skin, it is extremely healthy and beneficial and has a lot of antioxidants it's a big health trend and that would be great to do that if you have a juicer right so this is something we'll get into in our next time right so that's mainly the topics that i want to cover for today and now i want to hear from you how's it going so far how has your first day started so if anybody wants to chime in here and have a note i Bye. can go first because i also have to um quickly hop off of this meeting because i have another meeting for school if so if you don't mind um i i made that smoothie bowl this morning and right before i left for university i got um a ninja like a mini ninja blender and it also came with like a smoothie bowl blender and I haven't been able to use it until this morning <laughs> and that smoothie bowl was so good and like I put raspberries on top of it and I was gonna add like coconut flakes but I didn't have any but I bet that would be really good on it and um it's just like me and my mom so we've been doing dinner together so like whatever I'm she's been like helping me make the food and everything and it's been really fun and she absolutely loved the recipe last night Anik, and she's so excited to have it again 
<laughs> and the, and Nick's taste in my mom's cooking. My mom is like a really big cook, so <laughs> she loves cooking. So she absolutely loved that recipe last night, and I like felt like so full afterwards. Like I have such a sweet tooth sometimes, and last night like I was just like so content, and I even like went home. I like went to bed early which I never do and I'm also going to try to get like seven to eight hours of sleep which I also never do which I is supposedly supposed to help with everything with like the decrease of my stress and all that stuff so hopefully with that in this good like body reset body and mind reset we can all succeed <laughs> amazing love that love that you love this smoothie and i love that you actually brought up sleep too because that is a really good goal to focus on um those seven eight hours during this time so that's fantastic and i'm happy you're liking the recipe so far and that you're able to do them at home and have your mom as your teammate to make them and that you're liking them so that's exciting Yes, I need some guidance with cooking because me and cooking don't go along that well. <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a good cook by the end of this. <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna learn a lot of skills <laughs> for sure. Well, thank you so much and hopefully see you guys all on the next meeting and we all got this, but I'm gonna I have to hop off now. Yeah. Go to study. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay, Kira's back. Okay, thoughts. Uh, it says, what are your thoughts on H. pylori? Everyone speaks, I speak to seems to have it, and the very strong antibiotic is the only cure. H. pylori, I feel, is something that's been an accumulation over quite some time of bacteria. Um, let's look it up. A course like this would help to reduce any inflammation or infections. Um, probably a course of probiotics might help as well. And gut healing. So I would say like this menu should help with something like that if it's if it's going on for long. I don't prescri prescribe antibiotics or anything like that. So I wouldn't know from that perspective. Um, however, I, I think a doctor might have to prescribe more about H. pylori. No, Ali, what I meant was it's a very, it, all of a sudden everybody has H. pylori, right? So the bloating, the gut health, and the people who I've known have said, you know, both you and your husband have to do the medication at the same time. You have, to, I don't know, it's, it's very confusing to me. It's almost like every year there's a new buzz disease. I don't know how to explain it. So I just wondered, is, is it hype or is it fat? I mean, I feel like I've heard of it before and if people are, are talking to you about it and they've been diagnosed about it, um, but it is saying here when I'm looking something up that it is a risk factor for stomach cancer. So the main thing would be, it says to, to do a physical test that you want to get it tested so that you can have a proper diagnosis. Um, and if they do find something there then then it's time to take action and you'd see what would be the recommendations but of course like this would help to at least reduce some inflammation and improve the healthy gut bacteria which it would be an inflammation causing um complication and uh I feel like ulcers do come from that also. So this, this I would recommend so far, like a lot of fiber to flush out the gut is going to be important and regulating the diet with really clean eating. There's even a diet for it I'm seeing. Yeah, would you do any tests or would your people do any tests to check it out? Yeah, a few of them went and they said it's it's a it's a breath. I'm sorry, Fong Strange, a breath. You breathe into something. I mean, I have been wondering about it for a while now. So I think I'll just go to my doctor and speak to him about it and see if that's also something that needs to be considered besides the healthy eating. 
Yeah. If that's something that he needs to, you know. Yeah, it says that it, it gets cured with antibiotics, proton pump inhibitors, H2 blockers, and treatment takes about two weeks to get rid of the bacteria. Yeah. If you but got apparently the, the, the antibiotics are very harsh. You, people who have had to go on it just said it's very, very harsh. Yeah, I um I don't know anything about antibiotics. So no idea, but that's interesting. Have you taken antibiotics before? Yes, I have, but not for something like this. Ah, uh, because it has to wipe. Apparently it's like it's like it can wipe out a horse. According to my people, the people who were on it, it wasn't a very pleasant experience. Yeah, interesting. I mean, maybe it is a good thing to wipe it completely to start fresh building it back up. I don't know. It might be interesting to consider. Yeah, I'll go to my doctor and discuss it with him. Okay, so keep me noted on that. All right, so what else? Um, Kira, Giselle, how has your week started? Hi, Anik. Um, things have been going good um today was easier than yesterday because i think yesterday wasn't as prepped as i should be although i have all the ingredients and stuff just with work and everything like just getting into the mindset but i'm getting there i'm making some vegetable broth right now so nice and i had like some sweet potato the boats with the black beans i started to feel hungry after eating that lunch so i don't know if that was okay to do yeah, so that's all good and healthy. I know you have a specific plan that we're following for the first week, which is a bit different. Yeah. Um, so that's good. On the mindset aspect of things, <coughs> it's a good idea uh, to think about giving your body like a body retreat over this eight weeks. And your mm -hmm. mindset is it may feel a bit hard to get going, but even if it's not perfect or you do better on a Tuesday than a Monday, yeah consistency is really going to give you a really great end result once you take consistent small steps it gives a lot okay. of cumulative effect so think mm -hmm. baby steps like every little thing you do is a good move in the right direction so yeah take your time yeah that's exactly what i'm trying to do because like today yesterday i got a workout and today i didn't get any in so i mean I'm not yeah. going to beat up myself yeah. about it, but I'm going to try harder for the rest of the week. Yeah, and tomorrow we're all working out together. So what that will look like is everybody's just, just going to jump on their <clears throat> um, screens. If you haven't, let me know what exercise equipment you have yet. Um, Just do that. I'm going to run a half an hour workout. So at least we'll get that um done in the morning. So that's one thing off your list to worry about. And that'll be fun. So that's just going to be me and I'll say that like, the first exercise might be some squats and you can either put a weight or you don't have to put a weight and I'm going to time you for 45 seconds and then I will say okay we're switching to a plank and then we're going to do plank for 45 seconds you can yeah. add weights I can give variations as well and just simple um, movements um with with that workout um it's just half an hour which is great and then you know even if you exercise four days in the week and you don't exercise every day that's still better or even if you go for a walk that's still movement um being active is good like the main thing with mindset is being active whether it's walking around cleaning working out swimming jogging dancing playing a sport, tennis, some, you know, anything active is a, a bonus. So if you don't make it to like a full gym session, you know, even doing some stretches, yoga before bed could be relaxing. Um, even for like 20 minutes, it's still something. And that could be an easier commitment to think about mindset wise. Okay. So I'm trying trying something uh, new mm -hmm. where I have a, a cassava spaghetti nice. into a cauliflower patty into a kimchi 
garlic tomato sauce. See how that rides out. Love that. So with what the, I love there. Little, uh, nutritional yeast. Excellent. What I love there is the kimchi because that's a fermented food. So like similar to sauerkraut, kimchi, um, these are really good for, for gut health, those fermented foods. So that's very exciting. Did you make that from scratch or did you buy that in Trinidad somewhere? No, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I bought it. Oh, nice. Does it in the grocery or do you have to go to like a health store? I just got it at the neighbor gourmet um, store. Cool. That's yes. good. All right, so let's for get... people in Trinidad. Um, I well, I mean, I guess this could be for anyone, but hung, I have a kimchi recipe, and then um, hungry plants lady in Trinidad sells kimchi, makes and sells kimchi. Nice, yeah, definitely send your recipe in the group cool. and her contact too. That's cool. Okay, so the first items on the menu are smoothie bowls, salmon patties, roasted chicken, vegetables, broth. Um, then there's burgers, salmon patties. Um, yeah, so it's it's kind of like broth and soups almost every day and smoothies every day for the first week or two. And if you do want like a food food, then having a meal for breakfast is fine. Or even having... Um, something savory is fine like the quinoa i did send a recipe for like the quinoa um porridge as well there's also a cultured breakfast macro bowl but there's a little more complex so the meal plan is very easy and simple but if you do feel anything extra you could check the recipes but if you want simple the meal plan is extremely simple and easy to follow Okay, Giselle, how is how are you going with your start so far? Well, uh, well, I did um take your advice on Saturday, and I did because I had to go to my alma mater, Fet, and I got the parade water, and well, a little quicker because I ended up being a designated driver at the end, <laughs> but um, so it did help having that, and you know that not added sugar, but even you know at the Fet, I realized yeah there were options like I didn't have to they did have they loud they had two chicken they had salads so rest that at least they had options that I could have chosen wiser um you know I, I still in the prep like I made ratatouille yesterday so I'm still in the prepping mode I don't feel as though I'm a hundred percent there um perhaps trying to get rid of all the pastels and everything out of the house mm -hmm. <laughs> so I don't have that at home because you know my my weakness is the mindset and but I really want to start the journaling from tonight and 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 work out those you know yeah. So what are the same things like this week? Um, this week is all about removing stuff from for the next eight weeks. So even if you want to put a section in your freezer, that's kind of like when friends come over or after these eight weeks, kind of do a little rearranging to get your mind ready and create a space. So sometimes with mindset space gives a whole vibe to that our experience and taking action. So if you want to start with a baby step to take action, maybe that's organizing the fridge to have certain things or looking at what containers you might want to have for meal prep and also just organizing the freezer of things like you can put aside so that you can focus over these next two weeks on this menu so that you can feel successful in the next eight weeks that you put your mind to the challenge to stay consistent and try to meal prep a bit. I am noticing that you're eating out healthy, which is still good. Um, and it's still on track. And that's still a step in the right direction. So for example, if um, you don't have time to prep, but you're still choosing clean options when you're eating out, it's still better than let's say last year or something, some choices, you know? Because like even when I had gone to the Amber Community Tea House, one of my friends offered me a told her, don't let for the sauce with the food, you know, because, you know, it's all those little things that don't add the calories. But yeah. Yeah. 
And during these eight weeks, if you want to look at calories or that, you know, I like the group to keep accountable with the food pictures. But if you also want to look at stuff like calories um, in my fitness pal app, you can do logging in there or you can just keep it simple with photos. And we're going to be looking, I'm going to send some portion pictures in the group as well for everyone to have a visual of different portions. Um, to be mindful of it but let's say Giselle you want to um start tomorrow or today to meal prep two things what do you want to do first well the ratatouille last night I have I actually steamed pumpkin so I could have two meals breakfast I did do a smoothie this morning so I have this stuff I think I need a snack I need a proper snack because that is my weakness. <laughs> like an after dinner or before? I think afternoon. So, you know, like around clock, when if you pick the shower, that is when I will go, especially if I'm working from home, because I, I'm, on, I'm like home two days a week. And I will, you know, look to see what's there. And it's easy to grab something. But if I have something prepped, you know. Yeah. Would you have yeah. um like one of these broths or like one of the turkey burgers or some protein? And that's what I have. I'm gonna do the broth. So probably I'll have to do grocery. Um, probably Thursday and try to get out the first weekend. Yeah, there used to be you people know? in Trinidad who sell broth. Like, do you have a crock pot or no? Yeah, yeah. Because that could be good to make a broth where you just well, I guess if you can make it, yeah, on Thursday when you go to the grocery and you get the chicken feet and like some herbs and celery and carrots and you just leave that to cook for a while and then strain it and you'll get a really nice broth that you can yeah, freeze well, off definitely. freeze off a bunch um so like mm -hmm. eat, you could just heat up some and i also recommend sometimes like those miso pack soups and if you did get like a broth like a carton of broth in the grocery that would still be okay and then you pour that with some miso soup for flavoring that could be nice if you don't like just the pure taste. I mean, I love the pure taste of broth, but a lot of like nutritionists love broth. Um, So, I mean, it is a different type of taste, but I think once you get accustomed to it, it's really soothing. And it, to me, it tastes like chicken noodle soup just without the chicken and the noodles. <laughs> okay, I'll check it out. Okay, so your first step, you're doing the smoothies, you said, and... You just have to do some prep of some meals, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're still off to a good start. You did your ratatouille, which is good. And your main focus is you want to focus on snacks. So maybe, yeah, think of something protein, either a protein shake, some um, of one of these soups. You could even try a green juice. Um, You could... Try to focus on your hydration a lot, um, which will be very important with cravings for sure. And even if you have to buy bottled water or have it cold just so you drink or enjoy it, that would be a good idea because water really helps with cravings. Um, there's also tea as an option. Big cup of tea would be soothing at that hour. And yeah, writing, walking, meditation these are all good um habits reading help to relax as well so we want to try to stay in a relaxed environment um do you want to listen to any podcasts would that help you with mindset definitely yes oh sorry that was a general question you can answer as well both of you yeah i'm down for some podcasts Okay, let's look for some um if that helps with mindset. I find that's actually quite motivational to look at um for meal prep to be fair. Cool. So any um last comments because we are at time now. Um so any last questions, comments, sharing of anything. Remember everything in this group is confidential, so we respect everybody's privacy here. Everybody's on for their own reasons and um yeah so it's all about i wouldn't 
the morning exercises that you will send um the exercises so if anybody wants to do it in the evening or on their own time yes okay if you can't make it i'm gonna send the recordings anyway and you will be able to do it in your own time Annie, how long does the broth have to boil for the vegetable one vegetable broth i mean you don't get as much collagen in there so it might just be like 15 20 minutes it doesn't have to go a long boil okay and do you just strain it after or yeah okay for broth but i mean if you are doing like like a soup you can keep the the, the vegetables. vegetables yeah if you want okay. that fiber or can I also blend it as it is? It's just celery and carrots. Yeah, you could. You could. Okay. Let's see. How to make vegetable broth with kitchen scraps. It says onion, celery, carrot. A large pot. You can add sprigs of thyme and parsley to make a cooking liquid. Mm. Yeah, so usually it's quite simple. You can even use like um chives as well for flavor. Yeah, 10 minutes. Okay, it says to cook for 45 minutes in like a crock pot. But you can also just use like a normal pot. Send a recipe that I found. I'll send a pic of what it looks like and you could probably tell me if it's too much water. Okay. Okay. Was I going to send something else? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um. So that's it. So we'll work out tomorrow morning and that will all be recorded. Everyone's off to a great start. Brett, did you... Did you say you're starting today or you got started? Um, With the menu that you sent, I haven't yet started specifically. Um, same thing as someone else said, I'm probably going to do groceries on Thursday. Okay. I'm really kind of like key down into that. Okay, cool. So what do you want to get started with? i um, going to focus on trying to get soups that I like. Okay. <laughs> Good idea. You might surprise yourself. The recipes might be really nice. You might actually like them. Maybe. <laughs> you can do it. Okay, everybody, you got this. You're off to a great start. It's going to be exciting. We're going to have a transformative eight weeks. And we're all in this together. We're all going to feel amazing at the end. It's going to have its ups and downs, but we will get through it all together. We're all on the same page. We're all in the same boat. And we're going to get healthier feel fitter, leaner, and we're going for those 10 pounds and reducing of that bloat and feeling vibrant and amazing. So that's why we are making these efforts because it's going to have a great effect. Cool. So see you tomorrow for workout. Bye.